What's going on YouTube? It's your boy, Chops. I'm making this video to show you guys if you're gonna run 536048 in your car and you rebuild the engine, you don't take it, you know, straight from the junkyard and put it in, or if you rebuild it, these engines you gotta prime, and you can't prime it like a normal 350. You, you know, you can't, like a normal 350, a 350 you, you can put a priming tool inside the distributor hole, if it's a Ford or a Chevy, and you can prime the engine that way, but with the, with the LS motors, you can't do that. You gotta pressurize the system to prime it. And I looked online to find some kind of way to pressurize my my engine, or to prime my engine, and Melon, I think it's called Melon, sells a tank that you can do that with. Other people have different ways of doing it, but I think that's the best way. But this tank's close to $300. So I said, shit. I think I can build me one of them. I took me an R22 tank, refrigerant tank, welded me an air nozzle on the top of it, and welded me a, a O2 bun on the top. I think I, I got the idea from a cat off YouTube. I think his name is Ken C. You can look him up, Ken C. And um, this is the, this, this, this is the, uh, where you pull the oil in at this is the air and down here. I don't have all my parts yet down here. You got a uh, I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me tilt it up a little bit You got a dash four fitting on the end of that right there. So you you run you you put you a uh, dash four fitting on that on that On that thread in right there and you come out with a hose And I what I'm doing. I'm gonna put a filter on mine I'm gonna put a filter on mine and then I'm gonna come out with another hose and put up the piece where I can screw it into my block. And then I just put my five and a half gallons of oil in there, hook my uh, air up, turn that nozzle and prime my engine that way. Stop it, turn the motor over, <clears throat> take one of the valve covers off to see if you're getting oil through the, through the push rods. That's what I plan on doing. But if you, if you rebuild that engine, from uh, from putting the pistons in, whole nine yards, you take that motor apart, you gotta prime. Now, if you just change the cam, you don't have to do that, but if you take it completely apart, you need to prime that motor, and this is the way to do it. You don't wanna be dry starting that motor. So this is what I'm doing. We're working on this for a few days. I gotta get the rest of the parts. Once I get the rest of the parts, I'll show you what I got done. All right, guys, later.